Hey Packers Nation, hot news in the zone. Today we have some great news for you Packers fans. Our running back Josh Jacobs has just won an appeal and had his $45,000 fine suspended by the NFL. That's right, the incident in the Week 3 game against the Titans, which resulted in a hefty $45,020 fine, has been overturned. In this episode, we'll tell you all about what happened, how the process went, and the impact of this decision on our beloved RB. So hold on tight and let's get to the details. In the Week 3 game against the Tennessee Titans, Josh Jacobs was caught by the NFL in a controversial situation. In the fourth quarter, Jacobs lowered his head to make contact with the helmet, which according to the league constituted unnecessary use of a helmet. The most curious thing? The play went through without any penalty on the field, which made the fine seem even more controversial for the Packers and their fans. The NFL issued the fine days after the game, with Jacobs being fined $45,020 for the play, which it deemed a safety violation. Such fines are typically reserved for dangerous offenses, but the issue was disputed from the beginning by Jacobs and the team, especially considering there was no foul called at the time. The Packers viewed the punishment as disproportionate. Fans were divided between concern over Jacobs' physical style of play and support for our RB, who always gives his all on the field. The discussion quickly became a hot topic on social media, with Packers Nation questioning the consistency of the league's fines. For Jacobs, the fine not only impacted his financial well-being, but also put his reputation on the line. Once the fine was announced, Jacobs and the team did not remain silent. The NFL's decision caused an immediate backlash, with fans and team members expressing dissatisfaction. Even though Jacobs has an aggressive style of play, many believed he was simply seeking solid contact on a crucial play that would have been crucial to the outcome. The Packers stood by their running back, recognizing the impact Jacobs has on the field and demonstrating confidence in his ability and dedication to the team. The decision to appeal was almost immediate, with the team seeking to overturn the punishment. Jacobs, aware that he had been through similar processes in the past, entered confident that he could win this battle. The decision also reflected a strong sense of unity within the Packers organization. When the team stands with a player in conflict with the league, it builds trust and loyalty. The message to Jacobs was clear. He had the team's full support in fighting this penalty. Few people know this, but when a player appeals a fine, he faces a panel of appeals officials made up of former NFL players. These are well-known and respected names, such as Derek Brooks, Ramon Foster, Kevin Mawai, and former Packer Jordy Nelson, who understand the dynamics of the game on the field. These officials have the final say on whether to uphold or overturn the fine. These former players conduct a thorough analysis of the play, looking at whether or not the penalty was justified. They take into account the player's intent, the context of the play, and even the frequency of similar infractions. In Jacob's case, they assessed whether he actually violated safety rules or whether he simply acted with intensity within a normal game situation. In the end, officials ruled in favor of Jacobs, overturning the fine and declaring the play not subject to financial punishment. For the fans and the team, the decision was a relief, as it proved that even under strict scrutiny, Jacobs acted legitimately, with no intention of harming or disrespecting the league's rules. This isn't the first time Jacobs has faced the NFL on appeal. He has won three similar cases in the past two years, putting him in a rare and impressive position to successfully challenge fines. It's usually very difficult for players to get such fines overturned, but Jacobs has shown he's undeterred by the process. These victories indicate that he has a strong track record in appeals, which lends credibility to his on-field stance and strengthens his image. Each time Jacobs wins an appeal, he not only recovers the fine, but also reaffirms his commitment to fair play and his right to play hard. This track record could even serve as a reference for other players. For the Packers, this winning streak also represents a strategic advantage, as it shows that their support for Jacobs is backed by well-informed decisions. It also reinforces the team's confidence in the NFL's fair handling of offenses and safety policies. It's a significant win for Jacobs and the culture of support within the Packers. Josh Jacobs has been putting on a show this season. 
With 762 rushing yards and 890 total yards, he is one of the highlights of our offense, also accumulating four touchdowns. These numbers show how much he has been essential for the Packers, even with some injuries and challenges along the way. Jacobs's presence on the field isn't just technical. It's emotional. He brings an energy and determination that motivates the team, and his powerful runs always get the crowd going. Despite the ankle pain in recent weeks, he has worked hard to maintain his high level of performance, showing everyone his commitment to the team. Averaging an impressive 84.6 rushing yards per game, he has been instrumental in opening up the offense and diversifying offensive strategies. Jacobs is the kind of player that fans love to watch, always looking for the next big play. And with this consistency, he promises a lot for the rest of the season. The bye week comes at a strategic time for the Packers, and especially for Jacobs, who is dealing with an ankle injury. This extra rest could be just what he needs to recover and return to full strength, ready to face the next challenges of the season, including the game against the Bears. For any player, the bye week is a chance to breathe, fix minor physical issues, and mentally prepare for what lies ahead. For Jacobs, who has been showing signs of fatigue, these recovery days are invaluable. The fans are eager to see him at his best, and the team knows he will be essential for a competitive second half of the season. Jacobs' recovery from his ankle is crucial to the Packers' offense. He is a key player in the team's movement on the field, and his presence poses a constant threat to opponents. Everyone is confident that Jacobs will be ready to return to his high-level performance after the bye and lead the Packers to more victories. The decision in favor of Jacobs' appeal has had a positive impact on the team as a whole. For the Packers, this outcome is a symbol that they are ready to defend their players in all situations, especially in controversial cases like this. It creates an environment of trust and unity that is essential for any team. This trust helps not only Jacobs, but all the players. Knowing that the team is willing to support and fight alongside them gives them peace of mind so they can focus on giving their best on the field. This support from the organization reflects the Packers' commitment to ethics, safety, and respect for the players' efforts. The decision could also have a psychological impact on opponents, showing that the Packers are united and ready to face any situation. This is a sign of strength, not just on the field but behind the scenes as well, and could influence the team's confidence in the upcoming games especially with the crucial game against the Bears in sight.